Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video and respond to some of the more colorful comments from my last video about why it's a good time to buy now. Look guys, the video that I made pointed out some of the positives that are in this market right now. I didn't say anything that wasn't true. And I'm not saying that the market is all unicorns and rainbows either, but in every market, there's opportunities. Any smart investor will tell you that. If you don't wanna take my advice, totally fine, no problem. However, nothing I said wasn't true. And there are opportunities now that did not exist six months to a year ago. We're gonna look at a quick video news excerpt that's not me talking. This is on Fox News about the market. I want to bring in a Fox Business exclusive, Douglas Elliman, real estate advisor, and the first female cast member on Million Dollar Listing, New York. You know, the, the annual numbers are still showing a gain, but these month-to-month -month numbers seem to me is what we need to focus on. We are definitely seeing a deceleration in appreciation, and I think that's the best way to frame this. There was such rapid appreciation for the last couple of years, especially in markets that are actually the traditional markets that saw the most rapid appreciation 10 years ago. The same markets saw the 20, 30, 40 percent increases. And in those markets specifically, I think it's not a surprise that we're seeing deceleration and then depreciation. However, there is still a lot of experts that say that we're still going to see some appreciation over the next year because of the fact that there's going to still be scarcity. The buyers that I'm working with, I am coaching them to be very, very knowledgeable about their micro market. Every single conversation about real estate needs to be based in facts around where you're actually buying. And what she's saying is what I've been saying. We're in a deceleration. There's a difference between a nosedive and a crash versus a market that is basically correcting, which is what's happening now. Yes, the interest rates are up, but they're still not up to where they were 20, 30 years ago, for crying out loud, give me a break. And on top of that, every financial person that is talking about this in the market is saying the same thing. Rates are going to come down, but prices are gonna to start to go up next year. So you choose, you wanna take your shots and hope that the market crashes and prices come down 30%, which is what's not gonna happen, then go ahead and do that. But the price, but the rates are gonna come down. So buy your house at a price that is comfortable and affordable for you. The rates, you can refinance that rate. It doesn't make sense to lock into a 30 year fix necessarily and every market is different. So my advice is, you need to research your market or the market that you're interested in buying, do your homework, and have all of the information in front of you before you make a decision. That's what my advice is. So hey, just to sum up this video, look, thank you to the people that did make comments. Good, bad, or indifferent, your comments are your comments, and I appreciate it. And I want to respond and have a conversation with you guys about what's happening in the market. I am, again, I'm not telling you that it's all roses and rainbows. Do your homework. If you have more questions, feel free to reach out. And again, thanks for the comments and see you next time.